Hi viewers, welcome to JSM. Today we are going to discuss about some processes involved in the surface chemistry. In the last videos we have discussed what is adsorption and how the thermodynamics is involved in the adsorption and as well as how the kinetics is playing role in adsorption. We have discussed it clearly. Now let us discuss some more processes involved in the surface chemistry. Okay, there are some processes involved in this, they are absorption and sorption, then desorption and another one is occlusion. Okay, these are some of the processes which we are going to discuss today. Now, let us come to the absorption. What is this absorption is? Firstly, let us know the main difference between the absorption and adsorption. If you come to the absorption, it is a bulk phenomena. Okay, absorption is a bulk phenomena. Whereas, in case of adsorption, it is a surface phenomena. Because in case of adsorption, the molecules of one medium are accumulated on only the surface of another medium. But in case of absorption, what is happening is whenever the substance is placed in contact with any medium, the molecules of that medium are uniformly distributed among that substance. Okay, this uniform distribution of molecules of the medium into the substance is called as absorption okay so when you come to the adsorption what is happening is the molecules of the medium are just accumulating on the surface okay by this you can know what is the clear difference between adsorption and absorption okay so that is why we call adsorption as a surface phenomena whereas absorption as a bulk phenomena okay what is happening here the molecules of the medium are distributing uniformly in that medium okay so that is about absorption let us discuss some examples regarding the absorption if you come to the examples regarding the absorption in the in our regular life we always see more number of processes involved in the absorption they are sponge dipped in water Okay, if you dip a sponge in water, what happens? The molecules of water are uniformly distributed along that sponge. That process we call it as absorption. Next, chalk dipped in ink. Okay, chalk dipped in ink. What happens? For example, when you dip a white chalk into the blue ink or black ink or red ink, what happens? The white chalk immediately gets that respective color. That process is occurring due to the process called absorption. Okay, so this is about absorption. Now, let us see what is sorption. This is a special phenomena. In this case of sorption, what is happening is both absorption and as well as adsorption are occurring simultaneously in the single process. Okay. So what is sorption now? The process in which absorption and as well as adsorption. Okay. The process in which absorption and as well as adsorption are occurring simultaneously is called as sorption. Okay. By this sorption, okay. In this sorption, we cannot easily judge how much amount of substance is accumulated on the surface or how much amount of substance is distributed in the medium okay we cannot easily determine that next process coming to the desorption i will give you a simple term for reading desorption that is reverse of adsorption okay reverse of adsorption the process in which the adsorbate molecules okay the process in which 
these adsorbate molecules are eliminated from the surface okay the process in which adsorbate molecules are eliminated from the surface of adsorbent is called as desorption okay that is about the desorption so mainly this desorption is occurring at high temperatures and low pressures so if you see now what happens at high temperature the molecules are going to get more energy whenever the molecule is going to get more energy it always destabilizes that is by getting energy they start the movement okay so that is why the adsorbed molecules are moving away from the surface okay and by creating the low pressure also the molecules can again start their movement these two are the ideal conditions for desorption okay then coming to the occlusion so what is the process of occlusion is the deposition of gas molecules okay the deposition of gas molecules onto the surface of solid onto the surface of solid is called as occlusion or in another terms we can also say the adsorption of gas onto the solid is called as occlusion let us study one example for this occlusion okay for example in case of hydrogenation of oils okay what we are doing we are using the catalyst such as nickel or platinum okay why we are using this we are using this to stabilize the hydrogen molecules for good hydrogenation in this process the occlusion process is involved what happens is the hydrogen gas molecules okay hydrogen gas molecules are adsorbed onto the surface of this nickel or platinum okay for example let us consider this as a solid particle that is nickel or platinum metal particle what happening on this particle is some of the gas molecules this blue color balls are nothing but the gas molecules of hydrogen okay this hydrogen molecules are adsorbed onto the surface of the solid metal that is nickel or platinum this process involved is called as occlusion thank you